Well, it could be weeks before we learn whether or not criminal charges will be filed in a crash that interrupted a motorcycle run back in June. First News senior reporter Jerry Virtuti talked with the law director handling the case to get an update. As the investigation continues into a crash that disrupted a fundraising motorcycle run, the law director overseeing the case is hearing rumblings. Within the Camel community that there has been some concern about the length of time uh, that investigation has taken. The incident happened a little over two months ago as hundreds were taking part in the annual Teddy Foltz Memorial event. State troopers say 65-year-old Gloria Dothard turned in front of some of the cycles along Route 616 in Coitsville and several collided with her car. Law Director Brian McCullough tells me investigators are still waiting for toxicology results on the driver and the victims to be completed. Not all of them are back yet. We're expecting that we'll probably have those in about 30 days. So it will be a period of time till we could come to final conclusions. McCullough says the time lag is not unusual, telling the results typically take three or four months and sometimes even longer. Still, he understands the pain victims have gone through. We have a great amount of sympathy for them, but the circumstance is, is that I also have to look at it from the legal side of things. Last week, the driver accused of causing the crash made a plea to a traffic charge in this case. The law director says since then, he has asked the judge to throw that out while the investigation continues. But McCullough does not believe the outcome of the traffic citation will affect any potential criminal charges that could still be filed. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.